guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. And today, I just want to talk to you about some mom stuff, some life stuff, something a little bit different. I want to talk with you today about focusing on systems instead of goals. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Um, frequently, I come here and I, not frequently, like every single gosh darn time, every single gosh darn time you see my face, I am sharing something that is happening in our lives, that is a real and authentic and genuine place that we are, that we are using, that I am, that is happening. and. I am in a kind of season of growth and change, maybe personally. And so one of the things that I am realizing um, would greatly help myself out is that I want to try, and I've done this before, I just tend to forget. I wanna try focusing on systems instead of focusing on goals. I am very motivated um, by goals and by completion. Almost, I would say, to a fault because it's like, oh look, only five more pages. We're gonna push, we're gonna push, we're gonna push. But those last five pages are miserable for everyone. There's really no reason to do that. I am the person who's like, okay, we need to do the house clean. We need to clean the whole house. Like, I need to go back just to the basics of focusing not on the end result, completely ignoring the end result, to be honest with you, there are a lot of productivity experts that are gonna tell you this, by the way, that you need to do a little every day, that I need to be focusing on my system by perfecting my system for cleaning the house, the house will become clean. By cleaning the house, the house will become clean, but then the house will become dirty. Whereas if I focus on my system of doing a little bit every day, then the house will become clean, but the house will stay clean. And it is also a manageable bite. I am a much kinder and happier person when I, as a mom, as a wife, as a mother, as a business owner, can remember that I need to do littler bits all the time instead of trying to do massive honks to get it done. And that's been really hard for me lately. Our schedule's been a little messed up with our vacation, trying to work ahead to get ahead for that. Um, I am finally getting to some of the things that I want to get to, some house projects, I finally, and I'm so proud of myself guys because it's gonna be before our half year update, made the gosh darn clipboards. I've never, never not done those like before school started. And I, I just kept not doing it. I finally did it and I feel really good about it. We also updated our chore charts. We're putting more focus again in our home on the systems that help it run well. We've gotten so kind of nose at the grindstone trying to get stuff done that we forgot the little things like making the meal plan helps us then eat all the time. Whereas we're gonna, it's like, okay, what do we got guys? And you're getting real creative with some meals that maybe things shouldn't go together. You know what I'm talking about, you know, I know you feel me on this. Or we realize we don't have what we need or we realize we gotta get to the store or we realize it really should be a leftover night we have any food. So, we are getting back to the simple focus. And I know that I am going to thank myself because you know the new year is coming up when things are new and changing and people love that fresh start. A lot of people also fail because there's a lot of pressure put on that fresh start. So I'm gonna take it back. I'm thinking I'm gonna reread Atomic Habits. I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna be really refining the systems I'm using in my house, in my homeschool, in my life, in my business, everywhere so that I can get back to the simplicity that is that because I need to get my focus back on good enough is good enough that progress is more important than perfection that a little bit every day does get the job done better and more consistently than a mad dash to the end so I am reminding myself <laughs> Really, I know I'm talking at you, but I'm talking at me. Um, reminding myself of the importance of focusing on my systems instead of my goals, because it is much better life skill to have. It's much better 
something that I want to instill in my kids. If we're picking up the house every day, then every day the house is picked up, right? I don't necessarily have to scrub it top to bottom once a week because the other six days of the week, it's not good. So I really need to get back into the baby steps, the little things. And some of that, I want to come here you know, lots of people come and they'll do like favorites videos or goals and month recaps and things like that. I want to do something similar, but what I want to do is I want to share with you what my intent is on my focus on my systems. What I did love about the past month, do a month in review so that I'm holding myself accountable for how did the last month go? Let me tell you guys, last month was rough. There was a big vacation. There was a lot going on. I get back into homeschool. Last month's been rough. So in a month, when I come back and I talk to you again, I am hoping that I'm like, it was awesome. But we'll see. I'm gonna be honest with you every step of the way. So my focuses for this next month are to really get the hang of our homeschool for the next, cause we're gonna have a week off for Thanksgiving. And then I think we come back for two weeks. I think it's only two weeks and then we'll have our, our end of year recap is coming as well. So for those two weeks, I really want to do a great job. I want to find the happy place and just get back into the swing of that. This week was a little better than last week. Everybody's remembering how life goes. Now, I also really want to get back into the focus of managing my home. When my home is managed, my brain is so much happier. So if I kind of check out of that and if I'm focusing too much on work and getting those things done, then my home really suffers and my home has really suffered. So I want to get back to maintaining my home a little every day. Do I need to crazy, you know, nose to the grindstone, clean the entire house. No, I don't. Little bits every day is good enough. And then the end of seven days, everything's been cycled through and it works. You guys know I do have a cleaning video. I will link up here. When I am doing that, it's great. I need to get back in the habit of doing that. So maybe one of the ways that I can do that is to kickstart that, is refilming that and showing you. Those are the things that help me get things done. The moral of the story, guys, is that I've been floundering without my systems. I've become too goal focused. And for me, as much as I love a goal and as motivating as a goal is, it is not the best way for me to operate. It's not the best way for my home to operate. And it's not the best way for my business to operate. Because again, I need to be doing a little bit every day so that it stays manageable. But also because I'm a work from home mom, I need to be able to drop that and go do other things. So if I'm allocating too much of me, the resource that is me in any of these different fields of life, then something else is falling through the cracks and I don't want anything else to fall through the cracks and I'm not willing to sacrifice some of those things. So the best way that I can write this ship and turn it around is to adjust my systems. And I know so many of you will understand that. Like I said, especially as we're coming into the new year and the holiday season is busy and there's a lot of stuff I want to do, a lot of really fun stuff I want to do. So the best thing that I can do is to almost not even look at the big picture, which is the goal. Right? So it's like macro focus. I need to micro focus on the steps. I need to refine the steps that make the system work because then the goal takes care of itself. You guys know what I'm talking about. So frequently you get close to the end of a goal or to the end of a goal and that's it. You're done. These things are never done. Work is never done. Kids are never done. Cleaning is never done. So it needs to be a system and not a goal. There is no finish line in this game of life, guys, especially not homeschool mom life, not work life, not cleaning life. There's no end. So I need to perfect the things that help me do it every day. Guys, I hope you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, thank you for being my therapist. If you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to say at all, write down to the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. For those of you who have stayed through to the end, I'm filming this one week before Thanksgiving, so I really got to get some of this done. But again, I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to focus on all of it. I'm going to focus on one thing, one thing first, which I think might have to be hustling because, guys, it's really messy. It's plain. And I literally like can't think as well when my house is messy, so I have got to get this under control. Okay, don't judge me.